Hello everyone, this is part 2 of Mathematics Section Solution of NRB Assistant Level 2 Examination held on 2075 ASAR 23. So without any further ado, let's get started. Question number 13. The ages of 8 girls are 16, 11, 13, 10, 11, 12, 16 and 15 years. Which of the following is an average age? There are two methods of solving the question. Method 1. Find sum of all the ages. So 16 plus 11 plus 13 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 16 plus 15. And the answer is 104. Now divide 104 by number of girls that is 8. So the answer is 13 years. So the correct answer is option D. Method 2. Assume any of the given 8 numbers as tentative average. So there are 8 numbers given and among those 8 numbers we can choose any number as assumed average or tentative average. In this case I have taken 11 as tentative average. Now I will find deviation of 11 from all the given numbers. Deviation means difference. So 16 minus 11 is 5, 11 minus 11 is 0, 13 minus 11 is 2, 10 minus 11 is minus 1, 11 minus 11 is 0, 12 minus 11 is 1, 16 minus 11 is 5, and 15 minus 11 is 4. Now, the correct average will be given as tentative average, that is 11, plus sum of all the deviations, 5, 0, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 5, and 4, divided by number of girls 8 so the answer is 11 plus 2 equals to 13 years question 14 average height of 11 students is 142 centimeter when a student leaves the class the new average becomes 141 centimeter what is the height of the living student now this question is similar to question number 12 so we will use the shortcut approach as one student has left the class, an average is also decreased by 1. So, height of the living student will be given by old number of students plus their average minus 1. So, old number of students was 11, their average was 142. So, 11 plus 142 minus 1 and the answer is 152 centimeter. So, the correct answer is option C. Question 15. What percent of rupees 1060 is rupees 159? Now, many students will try to solve this question by assuming x percent of 1060 as 159. There is no need. We can directly get answer as 159 divided by 1060 multiplied by 100. So, the answer will be 15 percent. Correct answer is option D. However, this question can also be solved by keeping an eye on the answer option. For example, if we take option number D, 15%, 15% can be written as 10% plus 5%. Now, what is 10% of 1060? It's easy. 10% is 106. Now, what is 5% of 1060? 5% is simply half of 10%. So, if 10% is 106, 5% will be 53. Now add both 106 plus 53, 159. So option number D gives us the right answer 159. None of the other option will give us the same answer. So correct answer option is D. Question number 16. In a class of 180 students, 72 are girls and rest are boys. What is the percent of boys? This is pretty easy. First, we will find number of boys. So, 180 minus 72 equals to 108. So, percent of boys will be number of boys divided by total number of students into 100. So, on simplification, we get answer as 60%. So, correct answer option is C. Question number 17. What is 4% of 40% of 400? It's an easy question. First, we will find 40% of 400. So, 40% of 400 is 160. 
then we will find 4% of 160. So 4% of 160 will be 6.4. So correct answer option is option D. Question number 18. If the cost price is 25% of the selling price, what is the profit percent? So according to the question, cost price is 25% of selling price. Now what is 25%? 25% is simply 25 divided by 100, that is 1 upon 4. So this way we get ratio of CP and SP as 1 is to 4. It means if CP is 1, SP is 4. So what is the profit percent? SP minus CP. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and this 3 when divided by CP gives us profit percent. So profit percent will be profit divided by CP into 100. Profit is 3, CP is 1 into 100 is 300 percent. So correct answer is option C. Question number 19. If the mark price of a watch is rupees 2600 of which discount allowed is 5 percent, what is the actual price of the watch? Actual price means we are asked to find selling price in this question. One liner, so selling price will be mark price minus discount percent of mark price. So 2600 minus 5% of 2600. Now how do we calculate 5%? First calculate 10%. 10% 10 of 2600 is 260. Then 5% is half of 260 that is 130. So total answer is 2470. It means option B. Question 20. There is some loss in selling a bag for Rs. 900 and there is some profit in selling the bag for Rs. 1500. If the loss is twice that of profit, how much is its cost price? Now there are different ways of solving the question. This question can also be solved by assuming the profit as x and then loss as 2x and then making equations and solving. But we will use another approach. Whenever such short of questions are asked in the examination, first find the difference between two SP. So the difference between two SP will be 1500 minus 900, that is 600. Now this 600 is divided into ratio of loss and profit. According to the question, the ratio is 2 is to 1. It means loss is twice and profit is only one time. Now total sum of ratios will be 2 plus 1, that is 3. This 3 corresponds to the difference 600. So if 3 is equal to 600, then 1 will be equal to 600 by 3, that is 200. Now we can calculate total loss as 2 into 200, that is 400, and total profit as 1 into 200 equals to 200. Now CP can be calculated via two different ways. Either CP is equal to SP plus loss. So SP is 900 plus loss 400, total answer is 1300 or CP is equal to SP minus profit. So 1500 minus 200, 1300. Either way, we get option number D as the right answer. Question number 21. If a table purchased on rupees 3000 had to be sold for rupees 2400 due to scratchage, what is the loss percentage? It's very simple. The cost price is 3000 and selling price is 2400. So clearly there is a loss of 600 rupees. Now convert 600 rupees into percentage. So 600 divided by 3000 into 100 gives 20%. Correct answer is D. Question number 22. The ratio of number of male and female students in a hostel is 4 is to 3. If there are 270 female students, what is the number of male students? According to the question, the ratio of male and female is 4 is to 3. It means there are 4 males and 3 females according to ratio. But according to question, there are 270 females. So 3 corresponds to 270. Multiplying factor is 270 divided by 3, that is 90. Now we can easily get number of male students by multiplying portion of male, that is 4, with multiplying factor 90. 4 into 90 equals to 360. So right answer is option number D. Question number 23. Given the ratio of angles of a triangle is 3 is to 7 is to 8, find the angles. All the angles are in degrees. So option number A is 30, 35, 115, B 40, 50, 90, C 30, 70, 80, D 50, 60, 70. Now there is no need to Assume the angles as 3x, 7x, 8x and then write 3x plus 7x plus 8x is equal to 180. 
clearly you can check the answer option only option C matches with the ratio 3 is to 7 is to 8 so clearly the answer will be option C last question question number 24 in a group of persons 70% of the persons are male and 30% of the persons are married if 2 by 7 of the males are married what fraction of females is single so in order to solve this question easily let us assume the total number of persons as 100 then according to question number of males will be 70% of 100 so that is 70 number of females will be 100 minus 70 that is 30 number of persons who are married will be 30 percent of 100 that is 30 number of males who are married will be 2 by 7 of number of males that is 70 equals to 20 now number of females who are married will be equal to 30 minus 20 will be 10 but we are asked to find fraction of females who is single so number of females who are single will be equal to total number of females that is 30 minus number of females who are married that is 10 so 30 minus 10 is equal to 20 fraction of females will be equal to 20 divided by 30 unmarried females divided by total females equals to 2 by 3 so correct answer is option D thank you for watching the video please subscribe my youtube channel math addiction for more videos